breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Drama as DSS denies Unamdekanu lawyers access to courtroom. Drama as DSS denies Unamdekanu lawyers access to courtroom. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. Drama as DSS denies Unamdekanu lawyers access to courtroom. The, the Genius Media Nigeria report that the Department of State Services, DSS, has denied some lawyers in the legal team of Unamdekanu, leader of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, access into the court. TGM gathered that Barista Aloy Ejimako and Mike Ozekome were allowed into the court, though. As of the time of publishing this report, the lawyers are at the front of the gate of the Federal High Court Abuja. Recall that a 15-count terrorism charge was slammed on Unamde Kano by the federal government. He pleaded not guilty to the charges and asked the Federal High Court Abuja to discharge and acquit him without standing trial because the charges were not worth being defended. Kano at last Tuesday filed a preliminary objection challenging the competence of the new charge as well as the jurisdiction of the court to hear the matter. According to the defendant, the fresh charge preferred against him were baseless, worthless, defective, and could not stand. The test of the law hand should be dismissed. Kanu is believed to be present in court already. Drama as DSS denies Unamde Kanu lawyers access to courtroom. The Genius Media Nigeria reports that the Department of State Services, DSS, has denied some lawyers in the legal team of Unamde Kanu, leader of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, Hypog, access into the court. TGM gathered that Barista Aloy Ejimako and Mike of Zekome were allowed into the court though. As of the time of publishing this report, the lawyers are at the front of the gate of the Federal High Court Abuja. Recall that a 15-count terrorism charge was slammed on Unamdekanu by the federal government. He pleaded not guilty to the charges and asked the Federal High Court Abuja to discharge and acquit him without standing trial because the charges were not worth being defended. Kano, at last Tuesday, filed a preliminary objection challenging the competence of the new charge as well as the jurisdiction of the court to hear the matter. According to the defendant, the fresh charge preferred against him were baseless, worthless, defective, and could not stand the test of the law and should be dismissed. Kanu is believed to be present in court already. Drama as DSS denies Unamdi Kanu lawyers access to courtroom. The Genius Media Nigeria reports that the Department of State Services, DSS, has denied some lawyers in the legal team of Nai of Unamdekanu, leader of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, access into the court. TGM gathered that Barista Aloy Ejimako and Mike or Zekome were allowed into the courtroom, too. 
as of the time of publishing this report. The lawyers are at the front of the gate of the Federal High Court, Abuja. Recall that a 15-count terrorism charge was slammed on Unamde Kano by the federal government. He pleaded not guilty to the charges and asked the federal high court Abuja to discharge and acquit him without standing trial because the charges were not what's been defended. Kano at last Tuesday filed a preliminary objection challenging the competence of the new charge, as well as the jurisdiction of the court to hear the matter. According to the defendant, the fresh charge preferred against him were baseless, worthless, defective, and could not stand the test of the law, hence should be dismissed. Kano is believed to be present in court already. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. And now before I go, um, in my own opinion, I feel what the federal government has done is not right in any sense. In any way, even before you could find another charges against someone, it would have been on notice that you have a charge against this, this particular person, not just the 24 hours before the judgment, before the judgment day. So how do you expect the person who is meant to defend the, the charges should defend it? So I see it as an act of wickedness and just because they already seem as a threat, like I used to say, Kano is a threat to the federal government. So they are trying all possible best. They are all their possible best to just to apprehend him in the, in, the, in the detention of the DSS so as not to let him go to the 2023 election so to my dear listeners please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about thank you for listening